Hello guys, welcome back to the next episode of Banished with me, Biffa, here in New Bifton. So, we are facing another famine, another crisis. Now, I don't understand why we've had our gatherers maxed out. I've just got the game paused at the moment, just so nothing goes totally wrong. We have our gatherers maxed out. See, they're gathering as much food as they always have. That's one gatherer. Our other gatherer is over here somewhere. If I can click on the right thing, there we go. They're down a bit on the food that they've been gathering. Our population isn't huge. We've had larger and survived with two gatherers. And we've got one herdsman down here. Let's just have a look what he's doing food-wise. So probably not... Oh, no, no food. It's just um, wool collection here which is fine. Um, I do want to build another pasture and split and have one for food and try and expand them, but it just at the minute it just seems like something not to, not to worry about too much. And then over here we have a hunting cabin. He's bringing in venison as well. So that is the food production we have. We have one of three on there. Oh, and we have, of course, the fisherman. This fisher guy, this fisher dock, fishing fishing dock isn't being manned. This one is. So look, there's three of them there. They brought in 300 fish. They're basically all they're doing is feeding themselves. So I'm gonna just take I'm gonna take the fisherman off. That should be four, shouldn't it? They're not gonna go on there anymore. I'm gonna add those on to the hunters, three hunters there, and actually I can start to up this hunting cabin as well, and add another three on there, because I think they're going to do, I mean that's only 360, but they're bringing in leather as well, I don't think they've already bought in 160 and the game's still poor, so that's good. So, mm, will we get through... Will we get through this? There's a lot of places that don't have workers, but that's fine. I'm waiting for my students, please. I have so many students. Well, I have one less student. They've just died of starvation. Eight students. Yeah, we can see it up there. So I'm just hoping... I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the food production is going to start building up and not be taken, because we have... I suppose people are still having children. There's a lot of places with any... Oh, Stebbin has been born. So a lot of places where they're living on their own and don't have children. So I suppose there's always the option that they're suddenly going to expand. That is the technical term for having children. <laughs> a load of people living on their own. Blacksmith. We have three tools, so we're, we're doing okay for the moment. We lost a gatherer. Oh dear, it's such a flipping, such a flipping pain to balance all of this. I'm just going to knock this down to 200 for now. So they're not taking all of our wood. Oh, another labourer's been added. Excellent, that's good. We must always keep a labourer because we don't want the school teacher to die and to lose him or her. I'm not entirely sure who the school teacher here is teacher. Tools is low, okay. One day to the teacher. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Tools is low, so we really need to get somebody back on the blacksmith. And let's take somebody from the woodcutter, add him to the blacksmith. For now. And the food is up to 70, so can... In this next season, can you guys pull one out the bag and collect enough food. Oh, I've been told as well, I must have a herbalist. Now, I've not had a herbalist there because I've not needed to gather any more, but apparently, if you don't have a herbalist, they can't give out the uh, the herbs and things that are there. So, let's add a herbalist in. Why has that got a question mark on it? I've added a herbalist. Oh my goodness. A child's died, a hunter's died, another hunter's died. 
Okay, alright. So, still almost maxed out on things. Reserve of firewood is low. Oh, it's just another uphill battle again. No coats. It just seems every time, and if people aren't running to church as much as I thought they would be, these are probably filled. Yep, cemeteries are filled. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to take the herdsman off for now because we haven't got anybody making coats. Let's get an. Oh, we haven't got a labourer. <laughs> Let's take a forester off. I do have firewood over here if I need to move it back. Um, oh, yep, game is unpaused. Okay. Food is low again. Where is all the food going? That's what I want to know. Current season. So why isn't this collecting? There's four gatherers here. Look. What is going on? Oh, they're finally collecting. Okay. They're all on working, aren't they? Work, work, work and work. So other than one person here, my food production is pretty much maxed out. It's possibly going to get to the point again where people are going to starve and die off and I'm going to have to start building up. Hopefully a tradesman is coming, although I've got nobody spare for farming <laughs> or anything like that. I really want to get to farming. I really do. And people are just taking the food. Don't be so flipping greedy. What have they got in their houses? They've probably got... Look, who's... What's... What have you got? Nothing. Oh, okay. What have you got? Onions. You're living off the onions. Well, my food sources are maxed out. And this has been enough up till now. I've not... I don't have any more houses than I've had before. So why? Why, why, why? Hunter has gone. Right, I think I'm just going to run the game a bit, see if we can get through this famine. Hopefully we can. I'm just going to have to let the game run its course because adding more gatherers and hunters isn't going to help. I, I know I have enough. It just needs to reach that balance. So if people can stop taking the food, that will that will go okay. So I'll be back with you Maybe, maybe next year. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'll be back with the okay, We've had a couple more deaths. Somebody at the trading post. Right, let's just pause the game and think about this a minute. So he's actually going to give me some food. Now, a couple of people have mentioned, oh, why don't you buy some of the things? Pumpkins are great. Now, what they're actually selling me here is the food item, not the seeds. So, I mean, I could buy... Let's have a look. 100... 100, 100, what's that going to cost? So it's not actually going to cost me that much. Let's just see what everything... Let's just see what everything would cost me. 1,000, so what's that going to be? 4, overpaid by too much... Six, twenty-eight, twenty, twelve, four. Overpaying by four units. Okay, all right. Well, firewood's worth a lot more, so that would still leave me a decent amount, and that might just save us. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I don't care if the next boat brings seeds. Let's dismiss him. We need the food. And does that mean now I need a vendor because all the food is in here? It probably does. Let's just work out who I can afford to lose. <laughs> See, now I've got a herbalist. The health is actually going up. So thank you for that tip that somebody gave to me. See, all I've got is gatherers, hunters, a woodcutter, a forester. I'm going to have to just lose a forester, aren't I? to give myself a vendor 
Now I could really do with more vendors here to get this food out because at the minute they're not going to take they're not going to take this food from here because they're all at zero. So he's going to slow. Whoops! He's going to slowly take them out and stick them in the storage barn. So maybe could we have another vendor? Let's do this. I think it's worth it. Not vendor, trader. I keep saying vendor. I think it's worth it to get these items out into the population. Is this one of them here? Nope. Where are my traders? Okay, he's coming. He's coming. Picking up resources from over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, okay, they're coming. Good, good, good. So they're all going to head over here and what I'm going to actually do is knock that down to 4.30 so we don't take any more firewood out so it may be that for now we're missing out on the seeds I think that's just the way it's going to go oh but it's going to keep us alive I think that's going to help us get through the winter that's what we need to do plan ahead to survive good grief is that filling up nicely? Yes, as soon as the food goes in there, it's been taken. <laughs> oh, it's all in there, look. Okay, so I can knock down my... I can knock those back down again. Get that back up again. Excellent. Right, tools is low. Tools are low. Food is low again. We have 455. Three is going down. <laughs> Please stop eating. Stop eating. Okay, tools is low, but we have a blacksmith. Coats are low, but we don't have anybody working. Oh, we do have a tailor working. Oh, okay. Well, why don't you work a bit quicker, tailor? You're a bit, a bit on the, the old slow side there, aren't you? Food 435. Maybe that would be enough just to tip us over the balance. Like nobody's hungry. Hooray! Oh, and Alberti was born. Praise Alberti! The first person to be born after the famine. Excellent. Oh, that's good. And we have more students. Abigail and Hesica. Should have been Jessica, but his parents had a list. What are these guys doing here? Oh, they were just chatting. Chatting around the water cooler. <laughs> at work. <laughs> at the work. So, what do you think of that famine, eh? Whew, that was tough. Have we made it out the other side yet? We don't know. So wood could start becoming a problem, but we're okay. I think we're balanced. I think we need to forget about storing up stuff for seeds. Can we now? Can we now keep on going? Okay, I'm going to run the game a bit. See if we can build up our food supplies. Oh, look, 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 look. it comes in. It goes out just as quick. <laughs> Please help us get a balance. We need the balance. We really do. Now, something I would like to work on is a town hall. Here we go. We need 62 logs. Well, they're never too hard to come by. But we do need a lot of stone and iron. So I've just tasked this area here to be worked on. We have a lot of people running over here for some reason. Why are all these guys running over? He's a trader. Oh, okay. He's got nothing to do. He's a gatherer. So why are you running over there? Please don't run over there. And you're a forester. You have jobs to do. And who are you? One of these will be the labourer. Are you going to go in one day? Weren't you the teacher? Who is the teacher? <laughs> well, you, you've changed your job. And uh, let's have a look. Talons is now. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. You look like a slightly happier teacher. So I'm going to collect up. I mean, it's a bit of a trek now. All the way down here. I'm interested to see whether these guys can cope with running backwards and forwards there. Our food is going up! Look, we've gone over a thousand food for almost a split second there. That is absolutely brilliant. We've hit the we've hit the balance that we need. Whew, we've made it out the other side of the famine again. That was some really good let's close all of these so we can we can see our town of Bifton. Wow, I'm so glad that we managed to get out the end of that. I'm hoping Food is low again. Reserves of yeah, okay, that's fine. Well, you know, that's not as low as it has been, guys. You wouldn't complain if you knew what it was like last year. Um, there we go. So they're going to collect these trees and these stone. 
and firewood is low. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this right down to 200 and my vendor will put that back into the population there. We'll work up towards getting seeds again another time. Oh good, let's add another hunter. And Forester. Yeah, because we need we need that. We need to get our store of firewood back up again. Right, okay, I'm gonna wait while these guys collect this stuff. Oh actually before we do that, where where could we put our town hall? Because we want I mean, we've got a choice. We can do a town hall or we could go for a market. A market will give us more information. Uh, sorry, beg your pardon. Town hall will give us more information. A market would be a great place for all the people around to come and gather their wood. But the problem is at the minute is I've got my gatherers and my workers and all these things working here. I would need to move my gatherer out somewhere else, which is, um, oh, I need another labourer, uh, well, our food's going okay, let's just drop a hunter down, must, need, must have a labourer, um, let's have a look again at the market, so, you put a market here, every house within that circle will come and gather their food from the market, that's how I understand it, but if I place it here, that's taking up even more space from the gatherer, I mean, it might be good down here to have a market once we start getting this going with houses, but at the minute, I don't think there's going to be a good place to put that where it's going to be helpful. Whereas, a town hall will provide us with a lot of information. I mean, that could go over here. That doesn't really need to be anywhere in particular. 62, 124, and 48. So, I think I'll place that there for now. And just put that on pause until we have enough items to build it and we should have enough houses around to house those people yeah so I'll be back with you when we have enough items to build that house house uh, town hall see you in a sec and lo a trading post person turned up cherry and eggs let's have a look um, I don't think I'll buy those. No, you're okay. You can be dismissed. That's fine. You carry on. Sir, thank you for stopping by. Right, these poor guys are heading a long way backwards and forwards with their stuff. Is this... That stockpile's 88% for. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering whether to build a bridge over here. Because this could be a good area for a gatherer. Although there's not a huge amount of trees. Just sort of thinking ahead to expand, I mean, with this mountainous terrain, finding somewhere where a gatherer can be placed untouched. See, there's nothing really, I mean, there's this one here. Oh, lots of children being born, lots of new students. That is quite, that is quite a way away. Whereas a gatherer, maybe in the middle here, wouldn't be too far. And then we could remove that gatherer and start building up this as a as a town centre area, perhaps. So what's it going to cost to put a bridge over there? No, nope, that's the one I want. Wooden bridge. Let's see. Could we just come across where this road is going to go? Across to here. Let's just actually expand that road. Click on the road. Click on the road again. That road can't go over there. Okay. How about if I do to let's have a look. To here. The reserve of logs is low. Okay, don't worry about that. That's because they're being used. And then if we take a wooden bridge from there to there, what's that gonna cost us? 48 wood and 12 stone. Okay, well let's leave that for now. I know where that's gonna go. We just want to get this finished first. I think that's a good plan. Get our gatherer over here. Put nothing else in that area at all. A house, a gatherer, and a barn. And then have a marketplace. I had a hiccup there in case you didn't notice. <laughs> uh, marketplace. Which one's the marketplace? This one. Do 
what are these? That's a house, that's the gatherer's hut. So we've only got to remove one house. And that marketplace would be, that would be excellent to have right there. Do you know what? I think that's going to be, that is going to be the plan. Oh, more labourers. Let's just add another builder. Get this going up. What's it keeps telling me? Reserve of stone is low. Well, my guys are collecting it as quick as they can. <laughs> Look at all the stone. Let's just make sure they're actually collecting. Sometimes it doesn't take your click. There we go. Okay. Good. Right, back in a sec. Actually, I think I'm going to make this bridge across here because stone that's nearby is actually becoming... Actually, do I need to build it that far over? Let's just do it like that. Okay, then we can join up the road. Yeah, nearby stone is becoming hard to find. Oh, we've got another trader turning up. Let's see what he's going to be offering. Look at that, you see? Pepper seeds. Now, let's just pause this game a moment. So my pause. Is anybody running around? I have... Let's close that. Yes, it's paused. Okay, just want to make sure. I have tools and I have coats that I could bring over. It's, you don't actually get told what they're worth. It's wool coats that I've got. I mean, I could bring over... 40 wool coats. We don't have much firewood. I could bring over, what, another 10... Another 10 tools? They're not going to be wool coats. They're going to be leather coats, aren't they? Leather... Do they not want leather coats to trade? Ah, oh, darn it. So now the seeds have arrived... Hide coats. Oh, that's what they're called, hide coats. Hide coat, there we go. Okay, missing that. Let's bring 40 hide coats over. Slow that down a bit. And hopefully this guy hangs around long enough. I don't know whether that's going to be enough. What about some medicine? Do they take medicine in here? Oh, it's going to have to be herbs and things like that, isn't it? Or is there actually one for medicine? I haven't looked through this. Berries. No, so it's just random herbs and things. Yeah, see, you would think... You would think that... Uh, you know, a product as medicine would be able to be traded, but... So let's see what we're going to get up to here. Ten... 200. One of those is 3125. Yeah, we're not going to get anywhere near it, are we? We would need a whole ton of firewood. And we're just not making it quick enough. No, do you know what? I'm just going to. Oh, actually. Can I. Oh, darn it. I wanted to take the order the order off and just let him bring it as he was ready <laughs> so they were cheaper now the fact that we're not so desperate to have them could have done that but missed out on that oh well thank you next time you come I'm not in such a panic now to get those now we have now we have a plan right okay let's see whether whether this can be completed we're just short of stone is there any other stone nearby that I can just quickly nab I mean, look, there's some stone there. Stone, let's up that. Increase priority. Stone of fire. Why did not increase that priority there? That was weird. Let's do that again. Collect stone. And increase priority. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so hopefully they'll come over there and collect that. Okay. Oh dear. Look, I thought these guys would just go over the mountain there. They are walking. Look. Oh my goodness. <gasps> All the way round. I need to... <laughs> oh, Town Hall must be... No, not yet finished. Let us council... Uh, what I want to do. Council removal of anything in this area. 
<gasps> Let's get those guys back home. Look how many have come round. Oh, please don't die. This one is starving and hungry. Who is it? One days. Oh no. Oh, she should be okay. Yeah, she hasn't hasn't even got there. Oh, people are dying. Oh, the so gatherers died. Oh, they're warming up. They're eating. Look, they've warmed up at the house. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I've now designated this as a collection area. Look, there's so many. <laughs> Why is there so many? Oh no. Another gatherer has died. Logs is low. Forrester. Oh dear. Right, okay. Need to just have a little play around here, get this balanced again. I'll be back when this uh, town hall is completed. Okay, people are starting to freeze. I'm going to take the firewood out of my trading post, send that back. And hopefully that will help. I've also increased the priority on here. I don't know whether that actually works to do that. Um, there we go, just to do that. And hopefully he's going to get the wood as opposed to it going into the build. I mean, that one's finished. That one I've got paused. There's like baskets of fruit lying around. So people have died on the spot and dropped their stuff. Um, so all we're left here to do is get more stone. So hopefully... And there is a lot of stone around here. I just want to make sure that all of this stone... Okay, oh, we're losing labourers. Let's just lose another hunter. Must always have a labourer. Don't want our students to suddenly lose out if their teacher dies. Come on, that firewood needs to come back. Take the firewood out. There we go, the firewood's gone. There he goes, I think this is the one. He's going to drop it off somewhere and that will go up to 200. 75, okay. So hopefully now... They're going to start speeding up. Let's gather a few more trees as well. Trees please, trees please. Okay, just had another trader turn up. He's the one that's bringing the seeds at an exorbitant price because I was ordering them, so I've taken off all the orders from him. So we're not going to get that anymore. This is almost nearing completion. Just needs four more stone. Is anybody going to bring that over? I've increased the thing for that. Just need four more stone. Come on, anybody. Hey, there we go, and the foundations are up. We've had quite a few students that have left school and are now working hard. We've got our foresters, our gatherers back up again. A couple of builders, and then we're going to get the town hall done, work on the bridge, and the next episode, I think we're going to have another forester or a gatherer set up over here somewhere, start making use of this area, maybe one next to each other or something like that we'll work on that but things are looking a lot better now our food situation is doing okay i'm not going to expand the people too much i don't want to do that it's got to be careful because our wood firewood and wood supplies are getting low look as we can see here people are struggling a bit so we're going to get people <laughs> that's what i'm going to do is i'm just going to increase Increase the priority here. Hopefully that helps. Oh, almost finished, 74%. I want to see this building pop into place and take a very quick look at some of the stats that we can get from that. That's going to be very interesting to see. 77%, almost. All reserve of firewood is low. People are panicking about that. Yeah, I know, I know. Let's get our foresters up to the max on nine. There we go. Here we go. 100%. Wow. Look at all this information. Let's just unpause that bridge there. Look at all this information that we have. How many people assigned to the jobs? We can have a look at them. Production on everything. Our inventory. All sorts of graphs. Nomads. <laughs> And trade items, we have a lot to acquire there. Excellent. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. That will have to be the end of this episode. So next episode, we're going to expand very carefully over here. 
and try and build up some more production as well because we are struggling in a couple of areas but there we go thank you very much for watching guys please leave a like if you enjoyed the episode here with Biffa in New Bifton and I will see you guys next time take care